it's a it's a massive day on our calendar the biggest biggest day by far uh, so some of our shops will do four or five times their usual salary business obviously you have to draft in every every, every member of staff you can get and we'll have plenty of help in the shops for any any customers coming in floor walkers uh, mark sense slips uh, all, all the help anybody can get uh, it's just a, it's a race that really captures the imagination of the of the once once a year punter uh, everybody wants to go and have their pound each way or 50p each way we'll we're more than happy to help any any customer wants to come in and uh, hopefully hopefully every, hopefully most people are coming and getting a bit of a return at the end of it and it's a good day for everybody to be involved with what about the past uh well there's there's always I say people always remember this in the 70s the red rums all, all them sort of stories there's late naspa this year is going for three in a row so there's, i mean the the media do a very good job of of promoting it to the general public where Cheltenham's more for the, the aficionados, people who are really into the racing. They, they study it all year and it aims, aims for that. But the Grand Nass was one off, one Saturday in the year. And uh, we, we love to see one off customers coming in. What about handicapping? Uh, well, that, this, is, this is what makes a race so, I mean, theoretically, everybody has an even chance. Conditions that can adjust for that. Horses have better form and been around the entry before. But that's, that's why, I mean, you, you'll never get a, an even money favourite at, at, at the Grand National where you would do maybe in a Gold Cup. But uh, like this year's eight to one, the field is, is generally quite low, and that's why everybody goes in, see the big price, can see the chance of getting the getting the good good return for their money, and everybody gets interested.